Howdy students, welcome back. Today I have another example for you guys. We're asked to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x squared and x equals y squared about the x-axis. Okay, so we're rotating the solid. I'll use green again. Around the x-axis. So that means all of our expressions need to be in terms of x. So the only one we need to fix is this one, giving us y equals square root x. Okay, and then I'm gonna sketch this region as best I can. And I want to point something out. So here, it's gonna take me a second here. And then I will start from out here for the bigger one. go. Okay. All right. So hopefully we kind of see how that region is formed. Um, we're going to rotate x squared about the x-axis and then square root x about the x-axis, giving us this nice funny looking region. So again, remember, this is gonna be a washer method technique here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys that formula again, pi a to b outer squared minus inner squared. And then in this, in this case, it'll be in terms of x or with respect to x. All right, so now we need to determine what our um, outer function is and what our inner function is. Sorry, let's get this off my screen. Get off my screen. All right. So if again, if you remember from area between curves, uh, when we integrate areas with respect to x, we can use uh, top minus bottom, uh, which is the same thing as drawing a vertical line. I'm going to kind of draw it through my work here. Drawing, oops. drawing here, right? And so we see we hit this function here first and then we hit this function second. So that means this is our outer function and that this is our inner function. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute those in here. Integral, nope, not blue integral square root x squared minus x squared squared dx times pi okay uh, and then we look we see uh, that our bounds are from zero to one. Okay, so zero to one. All right, and the last step is just to evaluate our integral. So I'm gonna kind of clean up all of my exponents x minus x to the 4 dx 0 to 1 pi. All right, next step is to do our integrals, our integration, x squared over 2 minus x to the 5th over 5 on the bounds from 0 to 1 times pi. Okay, substituting that in, we get 1 over 2 minus x over, oops, 1 over 5 times pi. All right, so we're going to do some fraction subtraction here. I'm going to find a common denominator between the two of these, uh, which would be 10. So we're going to multiply this by 5 and this by 2. 
So giving me 5 over 10 minus 2 over 10. equals pi 3 over 10 giving us 3 pi over 10.